Welcome back, it's Matt Rogers, Skywatcher UK. And we've got some excellent images coming through from subscribers from all over the world that are seeing those red skies, these chemtrails that need to be stopped now because we are seeing the evidence out there. And also, we've got some fantastic webcam images that need to be shown as well because the truth is out there. And please, again, it's important to prepare for this incoming event. As again last night, I was scanning the skies, but it got a bit cloudy. So I'm going to now, tonight, I'm going to go back out to see if I can find anything up there so I can put that on video for all of you. So take care from Matt Rogers and enjoy this footage. Okay, this first image has come in from Steve Perillo. And he is saying that the opposite side west is being heavily chemtrailed and again you can see a light source on the screen and those thick chems so again Steve thanks for this image and also if you get any more images please post them to me and we will provide the information and those images out there to the world these next set of attachments have come in by Susan Miller and also this lady is in the UK, in the Midlands, and she says that there is a huge blue light source in the sky, not our sun, something else that illuminated the sky at early in the morning. So, I mean, you can see this light source up here, can't you? Fantastic image. Thank you, Susan. Also, with this photo as well, coming in by Susan, she said it was far too bright. There is a white object that's definitely not our sun that's in front of it. And also to the left-hand side, you can see this dark sky. I mean, there's all sorts of objects up there. Very, very strange. And you are so right. This is a white solar simulator that's in front of the sun. Again, Susan, you are wide awake to the truth. I mean, look at these reflections behind that cloud and also just on to the left hand side the lower left there's a red reflection and the skies are far too dark for 2 p.m. there in the UK as well so um, excellent excellent footage this next piece of footage is come in by Christina Munns another fantastic subscriber from Australia and she clearly saw an object that went past the area where we see the moon here very very strange you can see this colouring as well with it and also the moon just doesn't look the same it's a lot bigger which this kind subscriber Christina has said and it's far too white just like our so-called sun with this object the so solar simulator I mean thank you again for your uh, excellent emails and images. I mean, these are fantastic. Thank you. Very strange cloud formations. And there is an object up there as well. You've got this reflection with this so-called moon. And then you've got this creamy colored reflection as well from another object that's up there as well that's being cloaked. We are seeing all these strange cloud formations every day and the evening and night time. Christina, these are fantastic images, and everybody needs to see these. As you, as well, have seen those strange brown and cream colours up there, as the moon is reflecting. These next fantastic images are coming in from Michael Des, and he has sent an excellent email as well. So, again, please take care, as this is, these are from this area in the USA. And these are from Georgia. I mean, look at this reflection on the opposite side from where the sun is going down. There's definitely an orange light source coming up. There's another object that rises behind those chemtrails. Fantastic capture. Crazy skies. And this blue reflection that's coming in behind those chemtrails. Again, Michael, you've caught this so right where this blue setting is coming through not from our sun from another heavenly body we see these on the mexico cams i know this image is slightly blurred but you can clearly see that another light source from the opposite side here it's well caught and we are having to be persistent to uh, keep looking and searching the skies and again 
just fantastic. As Michael and his son was driving, they there was a lot of flood warnings on the roads, and they had seen a lot of floods, and also the uh, the river levels were rising too far. And again, this huge blue light source, as you could see on the screen, from the opposite side. I believe this blue Kachina is out there now, in our inner solar system that's heading much closer now towards our Earth. And thank you for these images, Michael. And if you get any more images, please send them in to me, and we will produce these onto video to show all the subscribers what we're seeing now. These, again, are from Dennis, that's fully prepared for this, and we all need to prepare. We need to stock up water and other sort of um, means so as the power grids go down we need to survive. Now look at this image. Look at these red reflections up there with them chemtrails. Again not from our sun. And I believe this is from Wormwood. Another huge object that's incoming that again the powers that be just don't want people to know about this. So again, Dennis, an amazing image, thank you. Another fantastic image, Dennis. I mean, these are totally amazing. I mean, look at these two light sources here and here. Very, very strange. There is something that's uh, coming up from the opposite side. I mean, look at this. Fantastic image. Very blue, but very red. Very strange formations. This image is slightly blurred, but again, there is something that's trying to cut through those cams. And we see this on the Switzerland cams. Can you see here, just here through the uh, chemtrails, very thick in cams above their mountains. And there is something that's definitely there, definitely showing. And we're all going to see this other second sun. We really will see this object. Okay, we've got some footage that Dennis has sent in as well of this... Uh, the scenery, this strange other light source that's cutting through. So I'm going to play the video for you now and please enjoy it because Dennis is right on the ball with what's going on and you all are. You are all seeing these strange skies and you're all just fantastic by sending these images in and please send more. It's because it's very important that we show everyone that the skies are the same around the world. Fantastic. These are just outstanding videos and we are all getting a lot of videos in now. So again, thank you for sending this in. Brilliant. Here's another image as well. And again, this is the red sky that I saw when I saw the object go down on the horizon. We, I really did. And, and you can see this red reflection. Again, very, very strange skies. And it's all this uh, strange blueness as well that we see. And I saw this too. Very, very strange. Again, a fantastic image. Thank you. These are just fantastic images. And again, we can see two light sources. Okay, we've got this light source here from the, the sun. And this other light object, this red reflection coming from Nibiru, that's... Um, to the right side all the time and as Dennis was taking these videos these images he said that there was a strange dark shadow here on the screen out there in the sky very very strange thank you very much for these images here's the last image from Dennis at the moment and you can clearly see there's other strange formations so again I'm gonna go now to other subscribers images and again outstanding work Dennis thank you for your respect also your dedication by showing those skies and that red reflection as well that's coming in it truly is a real situation that's happening and it's unfolding right now these next fantastic attachments are coming in from Katy Monaghan again we've 
got some brilliant images coming through from the UK. There's more and more people from the UK that's waking up to this. And there's thousands upon thousands of people in the USA. And again, some fantastic people. Again, thousands of people in Australia and the Far East and also in Russia. I mean, there are other places, Mexico, there's hundreds of images coming in. And kind subscribers emailing me all the time from other many parts of the world. So we have to join together and keep searching those skies, keep bringing in the information and the images so that other people, humanity, will start noticing those skies and the changes that are occurring because the powers to be, the news media channels, are still trying to keep people's eyes down. Again, this image is just stunning. You could see those sp spectacular clouds, I mean, made by harp and also the dimness on the land. Catty, these are fantastic. I mean, there is an, two reflections here on the screen. You can see the, the soul, the sun will be behind here with the simulator. And down here on the horizon, you've got the binary twin nemesis, the reflection. Please, please keep your eye on the horizons. It's just very important. Catty also said in her email that there is another reflection coming up from the opposite side this light source, this blue reflection. Again, I do believe it could be the blue kachina. Very strange. The sun had gone down and then the opposite side started to light up. Very, very strange. This image as well, showing the dark shadows and also that white object. Again, it's coming from the UK in Bradford by a lady subscriber, Frim. And thank you for this image. It's just showing humanity that there is something seriously going on. Look at those chemtrails, look at the trash that they pump up there in the skies, and above can you see this dark shadow? This white object again. We just keep producing these images to show you that we have footage from Germany, from Mike, and also footage from Dennis, and many other images from thousands of uh, other Subscribers just want to show the truth that the sun has changed. The colours in the sky have changed. So again, producing the work is just amazing. I'd like to show all these images as much as possible to let humanity become aware. This next image is also come in by Friend Clark, this kind subscriber from Bradford in the UK. And She's very persistent, looking up at the uh, skies. This is an image just come in, and what she had seen, and noticed as well, with her own eyes, that there was an object here behind those chems. Can you see this yellow disc in the sky? Here's this white object in front of the sun, the grey haze, and this object here. Very, very strange. Thank you for sending this in. We have another image from Deborah Foreman and it's very important that we uh, see all these images. Again, this is north overhead and this is in the USA and it was only brought in 20 minutes ago. Now we saw red reflections from uh, Deborah yesterday on the other video but again the timestamp and everything is about roughly the same time but today this image is another reflection of pink haze in the sky but look we see these chemtrails up in the sky but there is a reflection that's behind it can you see this huge reflection here something big behind here that's reflecting these white reflections and also that video that Dillinger s showed us on the beginning of yesterday's video we could see in the sky this light source couldn't we very strange so again, Deborah, thank you for this image. Very spectacular. Okay, we've got other really great information and also images coming in from Mary Hollenby from Swansea in Wales, UK. And she just stepped outside and said to herself, Oh my God, crazy, look at this. It's just plastered all over the skies now, isn't it? And 
these again are not contrails. These are poisons that they are just spraying all the time up there in the sky to cover the sun that's been affected by those heavenly bodies. There is a huge ecliptic planetary system that's heading our way and the dark shadows are being covered by this cloaking technology, this simulator and these chemtrails are just being sprayed all across the world now and again thank you for these images Mary you've got this right on target these are just poisoning our land our atmosphere and everything around us again thank you Mary for this image for showing all the subscribers the truth of what's going on I mean you could see how these chemtrails disperse and just evaporate through the sky and all these chemicals land on us land on our crops I mean the crops in the fields are being taken by factories and then made into uh, breakfast cereals and other forms of food and the chemtrails are in them ingredients and the thing is so government know about this so we're being slowly depopulated aren't we with cancer and other problems other conditions so sad it is evil what they're doing so I mean fantastic image you can see the Sun is hugely be affected now by Nibiru okay we've got some other attachments and these are coming in from Rocco a fantastic subscriber that sends some brilliant emails in and some messages and respect to you as well and thank you for your persistence here on the screen you can clearly see in the middle of the screen there is a red light source very very clear that's behind those chemtrails cutting in see this pink reflection as well a fantastic shot and Rocco said that this object was moving slowly downwards just outstanding and thank you for this image here it is again you can see clearly in the center of the screen that there is a red object behind all that trash that they spray there's clearly a celestial body, I believe again to be Nibiru, that's out there. This huge reflection. And we need to keep an eye on the northern skies. Again, this object that's been cloaked and been covered by all that trash up there in the heavens. Something there. It's very clear now, isn't it? I mean, every single image, we're, we are seeing very strange red reflections and now we're starting to see a rounded object a formation behind those cams I mean these are terrific images and Rocco I mean you have been sending images in for a long time and I've not been able to open some of the attachments that you've sent in but now I can so thank you for these superb images and respect to you always okay another excellent piece of footage of this object this behind all the trash that they throw up there in the skies again can you see the Sun's reflection on the sea this object is to the right hand side very very clear isn't it so again thank you for this uh, footage and again if those chems weren't there we would see that red star that red Wormwood, we would see it now in our skies. Another superb image. If you look to the top left side of the screen, you can see chemtrails and you can see a pink light source that's below that simulator, that reflection that's coming in. And we've seen these on the volcano cams in Mexico at the beginning of the year. And Rocco, this kind subscriber, is persistent. He really is. He sends in lots of information and he's determined to find these heavenly bodies as well. And we all are determined to catch the proof, to show the skeptics that this is a real event that's incoming. I mean, also, I mean, Rocco is in the USA and other parts of the world are seeing the same skies. I mean, you can clearly see this red reflection that's traveling with the sun. And again, when we saw the sun, some years back it was just a nice object to look at only briefly we knew it was a yellow celestial object that was in peace with the blue sky 
but now things have totally changed. Here again, Rocco, this is outstanding and thank you. Look at the different colours up there in our heavens and that huge shadow to the left side and them chemtrails. Here the sun would have gone down. There's other heavenly bodies that are travelling in front of our sun that's reflecting. A fantastic piece of footage, thank you. Another outstanding image where you've got that trail of trash above in the skies and that red reflection. So these are brilliant and thank you Rocco for your respect for sending these in and I will go to another subscriber's images. Okay we've got other images from Dennis again just recently right now he's just sent these in and a good evening to you sir as well and also what he's seeing is the sun's already gone down but to the opposite side there's a light source coming up this is not from our sun this is from someone else and also look at the colors again very strange we see these colors when the moon is traveling in the sky but also I mean it's far too bright it lights up the sky far too much than any other year that we've ever seen. It's getting much stranger now, isn't it? Really is hugely strange around the world now. Here's another image of this strange light source that's from the opposite side. I mean, this is so evident now. I mean, look how it brightens up the sky blue in the back of these uh, chemtrails. I mean, in the history of the Sumerian tablets, they do say that the skies change different colours. And also, in the Bible it says, the signs are in the stars, moon and sun. There's other objects we need to keep close, our close eye on. It's getting to a point that there is so much going on now. There's a huge light source on this screen. And people, again, need to... Um, prep for this because again Dennis has prepped he is seeing the truth now he has been monitoring the skies for many years even at a young age he spoke in length in email about this and I respect every word you say and other people have said as well there's even a 90 year old man gentleman that sent in images last week on a video and he says there is something strange going on and he used to fly military aeroplanes and he was in the World War II. So looking at the different information and the emails and going through things very carefully we are definitely seeing very strange differences up there and please again please keep your eyes to the opposite side of the sundown. Fantastic image of this light source that's appearing from behind those chems. Can you see where they put all this trash up in the sky so we don't get to see the truth? Because we would see the second sunrise. There's something that's behind those chems. It's so obvious. Again, thank you, Dennis. Okay, this is the last image and I will be back very shortly with other people's images and also cam images as well to monitor other high definition cameras. So, I mean, this is just unbelievable, this yellow colour that we see up there in the heavens. And on the opposite side, as I said, we are seeing a huge light source of this colouring. And we see this again on the NASA cams, illuminating from the opposite other side. This illuminated on the International Space Station. It's all a situation, isn't it? Okay, and again, please keep your eyes to the skies. And I'll be back shortly with another video with more true images from Matt Rogers.